This is going to be my first video in a series where I highlight various macOS utilities and applications I feel like just don't get enough accolades or attention, and I've been using these for a very long time. So for my first one, I wanted to highlight the utility Pacifist, as this goes back to the early days of OS X. Full disclaimer, this is entirely my own opinion, thus the content is not sponsored in any shape or form. Cool, now that we got that out of the way, Pacifist is an application that goes back almost as long as OS X itself and has been around since the early days and can be absolutely indispensable. It's targeted at macOS power users and hackers alike. Pacifist's primary function is that it opens up macOS package files. These are the ones that are used to install software. This allows you to examine and extract individual files and see their install locations. It can also open up DMGs, ZIPs, TARs, macOS asset catalogs, which we'll come back to in a minute, and macOS 9 tome files. Now this probably does not sound like your idea of a typical killer app, but let's take a look at it. macOS has its own way to distribute files to be installed, but they're a bit nebulous, and you don't always know what the installer contains. The beauty is, Pacifist changes all of that. Here I have a macOS package installer open in Pacifist, so you can see how this thing works. This particular installer is to a plugin set that caused issues with Final Cut Pro X. As a longtime user of macOS 10 slash macOS, I know that audio plugins are always installed in the same location. That is library slash audio and then in the plugins folder. However, sometimes plugins install extra stuff like this one does. And of course, it's that extra stuff that is the problem for Final Cut Pro X. So where is that extra stuff landing? Well, we can actually go into this and look and see that it installs stuff into library slash application support slash avid slash audio. And then there's some extra things and also some stuff for digit design, which doesn't really affect Final Cut Pro X as that's for a different application altogether. Knowing this, now I can go look and deinstall these plugins that are causing me problems. Pacifist also lets you install only portions of whatever the installer contains. This is pretty useful as you know exactly what an application is installing and you don't have to install everything. Recently, I bought a SteelSeries Pro headset and I found out that the Mac drivers just aren't very good. People had to reinstall in a whole bunch of funky configurations but for me, all I had to do was reinstall just the driver, and it seemed to work after that. Pacifist would be worth $20 if it stopped there, but it also lets you open up macOS asset catalogs. You may already know by now that you can right-click any application, and you can show package contents and poke around, but you can't open up things like .car files. .car files are compiled asset catalogs and they contain things like images, sprites, textures, AR kit resources, colors, and even data. Now if I try and open one of these files in Pacifist, as you might have guessed, it lets you view the contents of the .car file, which contains the asset icons for Pixelmator in this instance. Now if I decide to dig a little deeper, we can explore the developer section in Pixelmator Pro. The UI test section is particularly interesting as as .swift files. We can extract the readme and see the developer's notes and even extract the Swift files and look at some of the Swift code. There's even a Pixelmator Pro Xcode project file that you could extract too and poke around in there. Now, I admit this is not the utility for everyone, but it's a great one to have in your back pocket. The nice thing about the app is it uses a Nagware model, so you don't need to buy it if you're only going to use it once in an eon. I ended up buying this utility. As a dev, it saved me a lot of heartache over the nearly two decades of this utility being around. You can find a link to Pacifist in the description of this video. I hope you enjoyed this video, as I only have so much computer hardware at my fingertips, and there's plenty of software I feel like that deserves shine too.